Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. Thank him for life. Thank him for health. Thank him for strength. Thank him for peace. Thank him for keeping, keeping you, protecting you from harm and danger. Protecting all of us, hallelujah, from harm and danger. Let me greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and welcome you, the viewing audience, to the message of hope. You want to go straight into the word this morning, this afternoon, in the in Matthew, in Matthew chapter 25, where we were last time. The topic was and still is get your own stuff. And this is in relation to salvation, according to the word of God. We're gonna just read the word of God again. Chapter 25 of Matthew Gospel from verse 1 to 10 to refresh our memory. Then shall Jesus speaking, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Yes, the door was shut. Nobody likes to have a door shut in his or her face. Amen. But the, the, the phrase or the part of verse 9, there's where I was looking at, the part of verse 9 that really struck me is, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Don't depend on my oil. And it is not because they were not charitable. No, the question is, lest there be not, the, the point is, lest there, what I have is for me. This is not that they were greedy or selfish. No, spiritually speaking, listen, because this is a parable, a parable um, which is using an earthly situation that, to, to explain a heavenly situation, something spiritual, yes? Uh, before we go any further, I just want to get into this word. Father God, I give you praise and I give you thanks. Continue to bless and minister to us through your word. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, enlighten our understanding. Help us, oh God, to grasp what you are saying to us and to make the necessary application to our lives, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I commit everyone viewing this, this ministry at this time into your hands, oh God. Open hearts, open eyes to see spiritually, oh God. Hearts, oh God, to, un to receive Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. Oh God, just have your way. Speak through me, oh God. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. As I was saying, it's a parable, and it is a parable, it's an earthly situation to explain a, a heavenly, give us a heavenly meaning. So, 
Jesus Christ was comparing the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, that eternal kingdom, that eternal kingdom uh, that he will come to set up. And even the present kingdom that, 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 that is God's rule in the heart and lives of people who have committed themselves to him, who have accepted Jesus Christ, received Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord, having God as their Father. Yes, not, not just hearing about God, but they have a personal relationship with God, a personal relationship with God through Jesus Christ, his Son. And you today can have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ by accepting him have a personal relationship with God through his son because we cannot get to God except through Jesus Christ and so this this what this came up this this parable came about because the disciples were asking questions about the end of the world and the end of times and the, the signs of the times and the end of the world yes and so he's giving them this parable the bottom line is some people will be in and some people will be out some people will be left out of the kingdom of god let it not be you do not be left out of the kingdom of god do not be left out of living and reigning with the lord jesus christ for all eternity according to the word of god some will be in some will be out make your preparations now you cannot wait when you die, <laughs> there's no preparation beyond the grave. Do not wait until the rapture comes and takes place and then you are not rushing like these, these virgins here, not running to get oil. Do it today, do it now. Accept Jesus Christ now before it is eternally too late for you. This part of verse 9 really, 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 it is an individual responsibility. Yes. Hallelujah. The call is to all. Come unto me all. All. Who would, Jesus says, who would have all men to be saved? All. But the is an individual responsibility. Yes. You have to make that individual commitment. Hallelujah. Giving, because each of us, we have to individually give an account. No mother giving account for son or daughter. No son or daughter giving account for mother or father. We all will stand before God and give an account of ourselves, of our doing here on earth. Giving an account individually. So, so the verse, that part, go ye to them that sell, <laughs> sell and buy. That is the physical oil, that the natural oil. That was part of the Jewish tradition. They, they had to have oil in their houses. Yes, they have oil. Remember the woman um, that, that Elijah said, what do you have in your house? She said, just a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil. <laughs> Yes, and a miracle was wrought for her that day. Hallelujah. She obeyed the man of God. Send and borrow vessels, not a few, as many as you get, and pour out. And as she kept pouring, oil, the oil was there. As she kept pouring, there was more oil and more oil. And she was able to sell the oil, pay her debt, because her sons would have been taken to be slaves. She was able to pay her debt and live off that which was that which remain. But here we have a spiritual application. Hallelujah. It is not the, the physical oil, the natural oil here. But oil in the Bible typifies the Holy Spirit. And no one could buy the Holy Spirit. Cannot buy the Holy Spirit cannot buy salvation it all has to do i am using it in the area of your salvation our salvation hallelujah one cannot buy salvation it is a free gift although there was a guy in the book of acts when he saw the power of god he told the apostles come on sell me this power 
he wanted to buy the power, he wanted to buy the Holy Spirit so that he could, on whomsoever he laid his hands, they also would be filled with the Holy Spirit. We cannot buy that, cannot be bought, cannot be sold. This is the Holy Spirit, not just ord any ordinary spirit. Talking here about the third person of the Trinity. Hallelujah, the Holy Spirit. But the wise, come on people, come on people, come on people. The wise, verse 9 answered, the wise answered saying, not so, we cannot give you this, we cannot do, this is not something that we can do. This is something that individually you have to receive, you have to get. You receive that from God, yes? They couldn't, spiritually speaking here. We cannot give you that they're talking about the natural oil. They cannot give because their lamp might just go out as well. Yes? But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Get your own stuff. Get your own stuff. You know, we like to have possessions. We want our own land. We want our own home. We want our own car. Yes, we, and nothing is wrong with that. But similarly, <laughs> Where salvation is concerned, where your salvation is concerned, and my salvation is concerned, it's an individual. So too, we must look, go after being saved. Go after receiving Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. Go after being born again. Go after having new life in Christ. As you want to have your own, have your own possession, earthly possessions, and nothing is wrong with that because you have health and wealth and strength and you work, you earn money. So it's, it's possible that you could purchase things and nothing is wrong with that. But don't leave God out of the equation. Don't leave him out. He wants to be a part of your life. He wants to be able to take care of you the way nobody else could take care of you. And take care of me, take care of us. He wants to be an integral part of your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But we cannot buy salvation, yes? We cannot buy salvation. And the Holy Spirit, the oil represents the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that places a person, an individual, who would have accepted Jesus Christ as personal savior. It is the Holy Spirit who places one in the body of Christ, the church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I'm not talking religion, Anglican and Methodist and Pentecostal. I'm not talking that in the body, the called out ones. Those who have been called out. Those that have received Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. Those who have repented of their sins, had their sins forgiven. And were born again. Hallelujah. Born again. Hallelujah. It's time to be born again. Today is the day of salvation. A salvation is a free gift. It is to be received as you confess your sins to the Lord Jesus Christ and asking for forgiveness and for cleansing with his precious blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go. Go to them that sell the gospel. We cannot buy the gospel either. The gospel is being preached. We are the ones that's giving off the gospel. We, those people who minister from this platform and from other platforms, yes, the gospel. We are not selling the gospel. Though there may be some who are doing that. Yes, it is a free gift. The gospel, the death, the burial, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, that his blood is still able to, to cleanse from sin. We are not selling the gospel. Jesus says, freely you have received, freely so you give it. You gotta be born again. Hallelujah, it's a free gift. The gospel, go to them that Buy and sell. Remember, Lazarus and the 
rich man in hell, he, he, <laughs> while he was, they said, send, send, send someone to tell, to warn my brothers. From hell, he, he became an evangelist in hell. Send someone to warn, to warn my brothers that they do not come to this place of torment. No, while you are alive. Jesus said that no, no, even if someone go from, from the, the grave to tell them, they would not believe they have, they have, they have those who are preaching the gospel. They have them there. They let them hear them. You have us and you have others preaching the gospel, telling you to repent, telling you to be born again, telling you to accept Jesus Christ. You have us telling you that. If you die in your sins and go to the place of torment, hallelujah, there's nobody to preach to you there. You have us here now warning you, encouraging you, beseeching you, pleading with you to, by the mercy of God to come to the Lord Jesus Christ before it is eternally too late. Eternally too late. Yes. Jesus told Nicodemus, except a man in John chapter 3, hallelujah, verse 5. Jesus answered, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit who convicts. And he's been convicting you time and time again. And you keep putting him off. You keep putting him off. He's telling you it's time. It's time to serve God. It's time to give up on your sinful ways. He's, he's pleading with you. He's knocking at your heart's door. But you close your mind. You close. You shut the door in his face. Jesus cried out in the revelation. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And that is to a church. But it's also to individuals. It could be applied to individual lives. Because he's been knocking and knocking at your heart's door. Asking you to open and let him come in. So he could have fellowship with you. And you have fellowship with him. Except a man. Be born. Hallelujah. Of water and of the spirit. The Holy Spirit, not just any old spirit. There are lots of spirits going around, but the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You must be born again of the Holy Spirit, not joining a church. It will not work. Got to be born again of the Holy Spirit, the word of God. Hallelujah. You hear the word of God. Hallelujah. That if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. That is for real. You will be saved. You will be saved. Hallelujah. You got to believe. Born Born again, born of the water. That's where they born again. That's where they born again. You know, we had the physical birth, the first birth. Then we have to be born again, not physically born again, but spiritually born again. Hallelujah. It's a work of the Holy Spirit in the life of a in the life of somebody who surrender his life. To, to the power of God, to the Holy Spirit, to be born again. Hallelujah. It's an individual for yourself, not for anybody, for your own self. For yourself. It is for you and not for God. When you do it, God is well pleased. He will use you to do what he would have you to do. It's not for God. It is for you. It's not for God. It is for me. It's my responsibility. It's your responsibility individually for yourselves and by go to them that sell. We are not selling the, the gospel. But it's go to those who are there, the preachers. Go to them and hear what they are saying. But they had time. They had time. 
You have time on your hands now. While the Lord tarries, while he's, he's not, he did not put in, he has not put in his appearance, while he's holding on, while he's long suffering, waiting for you and you and you to come to him. Don't wait until it is too late. Hallelujah. Do not wait until it is too late to get the free gift of salvation. Eternal life. Hallelujah. Don't wait. Do it now. Accept Jesus Christ today as your personal Savior and Lord. Hallelujah. Hear what uh, concerning by. Hallelujah. Concerning buying, to buy. You cannot buy salvation. We cannot buy eternal life. It is a free gift. Hear, hear what Isaiah chapter 55 says. Verse 1. Ho! Oh, hello! <laughs> the prophet is calling out. Hallelujah. To the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Ho! Oh, hello! Hey there! Everyone that thirsts, or thirsted, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money, <laughs> come and buy without money. That's what he's saying. So, 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 salvation is free. It's free. Come ye, buy and eat. Yea, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. The things that which God gives us, those spiritual things, they are free. The gifts and calling of God are free. They are free. They are free. Salvation is free. A free gift is for you to receive. It, the gift was paid for at Calvary. When Jesus Christ lay his life down, Hallelujah. At the cross of Calvary, the price, the price was paid. His blood, as, as Peter says, we were not redeemed with silver and gold. No, money, money couldn't buy that. As it go, the saying goes, if salvation could have been bought with money, the rich, would have lived and the poor would have died. So salvation is for the rich, for the poor, without money, without price. It's a free gift. It's open to all. And the call is in chapter in chapter 55 of Isaiah. The call is there as well. Come, come, come and buy. Come and get it. It's for free. <laughs> you know it's so funny if a, if a grocery opens uh, well okay just open up the, uh, for a day and say look put up a sign or put up the advertisements come and take anything for free anything you want from my grocery you don't have to pay listen there would be a stampede there would be a stampede some people would be crushed in the rush to get the free items from the grocery store or whatever place it might be. But when it comes to salvation, hardly anybody rushing for salvation. Come on, rush to Jesus, run to Jesus, run to him for salvation. It's free, it's free. Your soul depends on it, your eternity your eternal destination depends on it. Run to Jesus today. Come to Jesus today for the free gift of salvation. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hey, anyone, are you thirsty for God? Are you hungry for God? Blessed are they that do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, says Jesus. Hallelujah. 
toiling in sin to find a way out, to find happiness, to find peace, to find satisfaction. Come to Jesus and get your salvation. Get that which you need. Hallelujah. The satisfaction and the peace for yourself, for you. And, and encourage your family, the rest of your family, and your friends and neighbors to, to accept Jesus Christ, hallelujah, as personal Savior and Lord. The gospel is being preached. The day will come when there will be no more preaching of the gospel. Accept Jesus Christ. Be ready. Be ready when he comes in the air. Hallelujah. The second coming in the two phases. Hallelujah. Comes first in the air. Hallelujah. Our bridegroom will come. Hallelujah. We shout. The voice of God, the trumpet shall sound. And the dead in Christ shall rise for some. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to be with the Lord. Don't wait until the tribulation. If you are alive, do not die in your sins. Do not die in your sin. Only those who remain alive during the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ at the tribulation, they may have, they would have a time. They may accept or they may curse God at that time. The Bible says so. Don't wait for that time. Do it today. Accept Jesus Christ right where you are. It's a free gift. Salvation is free. Receive Jesus Christ today. You receive Jesus, you receive salvation. You receive Jesus, you receive eternal life. Get it today. Get your stuff today. Get salvation today. I'm not calling it stuff. It's powerful. It's great. It's unique. Hallelujah. But locally, we say get your stuff. But this stuff here, this thing here, this, this, this salvation is from God. It is holy. It's perfect. Hallelujah. Get it today as you accept Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. Right where you are, bow your heads and ask Jesus Christ to come into your life to save you for all eternity. Amen. Don't forget to view this program on TIN every Wednesday afternoon at 5 30 p.m. God bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope.